Good morning, fellow staff and guardian. My name is Ms. Mocknis, and I am the guidance counselor at this school. So the purpose of today's meeting is a um, call to address several referrals that have been made about Kaya's behavior. Let's begin by introducing ourselves to Kaya's guardian. My name is Ms. Marilyn Arizaga, and I am the social worker. And my name is Ms. Shopper, and I am the truant officer. My name is Jamal Bustamante, and I'm the curriculum coordinator. I am Ms. Rios. I'm Kaya's homeroom teacher. I'm Mr. Hernandez, and I'm Kaya's uh, reading teacher. Hi, I'm Ms. Kendall, the math teacher. Senora Almagres, I'm the Chamorro teacher. Uh, Ms. Padilla, the health counselor. I'm Tasha Palomo, I'm Kaya's guardian. And good morning, everybody. I am Dana Pablo, and I'm the assistant principal at this school. Okay, so now that we've all introduced ourselves to uh, Kaya's guardian, let's just go around and state some observations or experiences that we've had with Kaya, whether they're her strengths or her weaknesses. And I'll just begin. Uh, the only time I see Kaya is when she's in the office for insubordination or destruction of school property. But while, uh, while in the office, she greets all the staff um, and smiles and acknowledges and respects each one of us. I've also noticed that she walks through the halls quietly and avoids other students. Um, I believe that some of her, out her outbursts are triggered by certain um, topics that make her feel uncomfortable or her past. Okay, um, so I've recently gone on a home visit with Ms. Shocker and Ms. Mothman. And um, during my observation, we saw that Kaya was very distant from her cousins. When her cousins would try to interact with her, she would either run away or ignore them. Um, we also noticed that she was very anxious and guarded, which often is a sign of neglect, probably from a previous birth. So Kaya has been recently referred for truancy for having eight unexcused absences since she started attending school here on the island. Myself and Mrs. Navasaga have conducted a home visit last month, which we had met with Kaya's auntie, Mrs. Palomo, and we found that Kaya is under medication, which is uh, the contributing factor for her absences. Based on Kaya's academic assessment history, she was enrolled in the after-school tutoring program in the opening of 2014, but she was not completing her assignments. The intended program skills and purpose did not translate in the classroom according to her reading teacher and to her homework teacher. The after-school tutoring coordinator refused to allow Kaya back into the program as the new enrollment session kicked in. Presently at the end of third quarter, Kaya is failing her language arts and math and is performing below average in science and social studies. After the first semester, Kaya's teacher had offered to be tutoring Kaya during lunch and to catch up with classwork. I had assessed her again for her reading placement level. However, it shows that she is below her grade level, which is second grade, and is reflecting that she is at the first grade level. So what I have observed when, while I have her is when, in the morning when I come in, she's sitting quietly on the bench. She's not talking to anyone, she's keeping to herself. When, she's, when she gets into the classroom, she puts her head down and she's very groggy due to her medication. When the other students try to talk to her, she's, very, she's, unin she's uninterested. Um, during science time, she's, act she's actively participating in the lesson, especially when it's science experiments because she likes the manipulatives, and she's very cooperative with her peers. During social studies, again, she participates when it's hands-on or it's activities, but when we're doing oral class reading or watching a video on a historical person, she falls asleep, and I have to tap her on the shoulder or tell her to stand in the back of the room so she can wake up. There were, some, there were two or three instances where she kicked the trash can and she flipped the chair due to her being cranky. But she's very good in art. Like she's very joyful and she enjoys singing and dancing and creating artwork. <coughs> she's also very obedient when she asks to do something. She takes a while, but she gets to it. 
All right, when Kai is in my class, uh, she is very good at listening uh, when she's told to do something, and she's very quiet. Uh, what Kaya finds difficult is when the assignments get too hard for her. Uh, she becomes silent and would put her head down and cry silently for the rest of the reading period. Uh, there are times Kaya would not be able to control some of her actions and become very, really defiant. She would start to dig her nails into her skin and would have to call a female school aid for some uh, assistance. The school aid will remove her from class for the safety of herself mm -hmm. and her classmates and refer to the assistant principal and counselor for some counseling. And when she does become uh, silent and defiant, she falls further behind in her assignments. Um, I also noticed Kaya not turning her homework assignments on time. Uh, right now she is reading at a first grade level. She is able to decode words that are one syllable but has problems when decoding words with two syllables. Uh, her word vocabulary is building but is struggling to make sense of them when speaking or putting them into sentences. Uh, I did recommend her for uh, after school tutoring, which she was not able to uh, continue because of her not turning her assignments. Um, I tried to pair her, her up as much as possible with some students she feels comfortable, comfortable with in class. Uh, her partners will act as peer tutors to help take some stress off, off her if the assignments become too hard. And I also do offer some one-to-one -one, uh, assistance during class and offer my time during lunch for um, tutoring when she's done eating in the cafeteria. So Kaya is a very polite girl, and like what Ms. Rio said, she's very artistic. Whenever I integrate um, art into math, especially music, she's my uh, number one uh, Pablo Picasso. And uh, sometimes she would get frustrated um, with the work, especially with multiplication facts. But um, some of the strategies that I like to use, um, especially building on her own talents, uh, like singing, um, we would sing along. Um, for example, um, for learning the multiplication tables for the four times tables, we would go, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. But to grab her attention, I would just use another um, song um, phrase. So I would be, I would say, or sing, um, why you gotta be so, and then she would say, rude. <laughs> and then that would kind of just really catch her attention. And other than that, she's doing well in my class, and it's a pleasure working with her. So my girl Kaya loves Chamorro. She has shown interest in learning about her culture, specifically familial roles. She is most open and engaged when seated next to her prima Maria, or in talking about her Chetlu, Jose, or her Tia, Tasha. Kaya became extremely uncomfortable, which resulted in the worst outbursts I have witnessed from her when I introduced the role of the nana, or mother, in the Chamorro culture. She becomes uneasy when involved in group work that Maria is not present in and struggles with reciting and acting out the anaphrasi up until now, which is the third quarter. Most times I am able to calm her down by letting her take a short break when she begins to feel overwhelmed. Um, but with that one occasion where we brought up the mother, I needed to refer her to the principal. All right, so Kaya is able to communicate we, communicate with me efficiently and is able to keep eye contact with me at all times. She is well behaved and polite in my presence. And when she does not take her medicine in the morning, she comes to me in my office. However, her medication may be, in fact, uh, the cause, causing the fear in her inabilities to catch up in class for These side effects may cause drowsiness, grogginess, irritable attitude, and favors self-isolation. And upon further observations this past semester, Kaya has increased the amounts of visits to my office due to physical harm 
to herself, either on purpose or otherwise. Okay, so um, I am very <coughs> surprised with what I've heard because um, Kaya behaves the complete opposite when she's with me, and that's probably because she's gotten a lot <clears throat> more comfortable with um, me and her being around her cousins. I feel like she's grown immensely since staying with us. Um, she, I do notice, though, that when she is in front of strangers, um, she does get um, a little nervous and she is a bit shy, but it's never been anything that I've been too concerned with. Um, she's still respectful towards me. Um, she's good at following house rules, so I would expect that she's okay in the classroom. Uh, she still does her chores just like her cousins. Um, and the only time that she is not in the mood is when she takes her medication, like what I've heard from all of you. So that is a common thing in the house. Um, she doesn't talk to anyone after she takes her medication. She doesn't like to do her homework after medication. But <clears throat> besides that, she enjoys going to school. Well, that's what she tells me. She She's always um, wanting to do her homework with me and her cousins. Uh, she has missed school a few times, and that's due to her being um, feeling tired and sick. Um, I don't feel like it affects her grades. We try to be on top of her assignments. Um, but I do understand everyone's concerns, and I feel we should do whatever is needed to help her pr progress academically. All right, so as you can all see, Kaya has been involved in numerous referrals for her defiant behavior. I myself have encountered a situation where she was referred to see me for um, vandalizing the restroom while she was having recess. She also has quite a number of absences, and uh, Ms. Moffness and I have been looking through her paperwork, and we want to assure you, Ms. Palomo, that we continue, or before we continue on with these upcoming meetings, our main concern is to provide all the support and services needed to help Kaya overcome these issues and work together to guide her to success. Okay, so as a result of all the re uh, referrals and observations, I thought it would be appropriate to get few, our, um, information from a behavior specialist or psychologist and have them observe her in multiple settings, such as the home and in the classroom. But we, need, uh, we would need your approval. And on this paper, there is my contact information and as well as the psychologist and behavior specialist. So before we end today's meeting, did you have any questions? Um, what would be the next step if I were to fill this out? What would, how would we go about this whole process? Okay, so the um, behavior specialists or the psychologists would come to the school. They would observe, or observe, before they observe her, they would look through her files and see if there's anything we can pinpoint. And after that, if they find anything, they will observe her in the settings that I uh, stated, which is the home and the classroom. And then after that, um, We'll contact you with the feedback they get from that, and then we'll proceed from there. Okay, uh, so this will conclude today's meeting. Thank you for your time and your cooperation. I will contact you as soon as we get any feedback. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good morning, fellow staff and guardian. The purpose of today's meeting is to call to address several referrals that have been made for Kaya's... <laughs> I'm sorry, can you restart that? You want to come and delete it? Uh, I don't just go. Tell just me how to do it and I'll do it for you. Good morning, fellow staff and guardian. The purpose of today's meeting is called to address several referrals that have been made for Kaya's behavior. Um, can we begin by going through our uh, introducing ourselves? Thank <laughs> you.